Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to install Windows 11 on your MacBook. Why would you like to have Windows on your MacBook? The reasons can be multiple. For example, you would like to use a special type of software that exists only on Windows or you would like to play PC games on your Mac and you don't have Windows computer as a second machine. Which is the reason I decided to install Windows 11 on my M1 Pro 16 inch MacBook. I'm not a heavy gamer, but I would like to play some games from time to time. As you know, there are not a lot of games created for macOS, but there is a huge selection of free or paid games made for Windows. I was a little bit worried about the performance of playing PC games on Mac while running them via virtualization as it would use a lot of CPU and GPU power, but I was very impressed with the final result. Actually, the M1 processor is so powerful that it can run GTA 5 or any other heavy games without any lags at all. As you can see, I already installed Windows 11 on my computer. I used Parallels Desktop to create a virtual machine of Windows 11, as it is the easiest way to get Windows for M1 or M1 Pro computers. Recent Apple Silicon Macs are so powerful that they can handle easily both macOS and Windows at the same time. And by the way, you are not able to run Windows on the Apple Silicon processor as it was designed only for macOS and iPadOS. So the only option here is to run Windows on the top of your macOS using a Parallels desktop app. You can download this app for free from the Parallels official website. They give you 30 days of a free trial. The trial version is not limited in any features, so it will be more than enough to install Windows. I think this application is the most powerful and the easiest way to create a virtual machine for Windows or any other system you want to have. Once you installed Parallels Desktop, just open the app and it will show you a prompt window proposing you to start installing Windows 11. Just click OK and the app will install Windows automatically, you don't need to perform any actions at all. That's why I like this application because it's so easy to set up. You don't need to download the Windows 11 ESO file from the Microsoft website, all necessary files will be downloaded automatically by the Parallels Desktop app. While installing Windows via Parallels Desktop app, it will set up everything automatically. You don't have to perform any actions at all. Keep in mind that Windows will use a lot of space on your SSD drive. In my case, uh, just Windows 11 used 11 GB of storage. After installing all my games, it weighed around 160 GB and I have only GTA 5, Mud Runner, and some other small stuff. Once you installed Windows 11, it's better to move the Parallels desktop folder on an external SSD drive. That way you will save space on your computer. I just copied Windows 11 folder on my external Samsung 1TB SSD and I'm connecting it only when I need to run Windows and play games. Once Windows 11 is installed, you can run it simply by opening Parallels desktop. It's super easy and fast. Actually, you will be able to access your files stored on your Mac via the Windows interface and vice versa. You can also run Windows apps in a coherence mode. This means you can run them in a separate window just like any other macOS app and you can minimize them in your dock. Kinda cool, huh? But I prefer running Windows in a full screen mode. It's a fully operational virtual PC with Windows 11 on board. On Apple Silicon processor, Parallels Desktop simulates ARM processor, so Windows thinks it's running on some random ARM powered processor computer. Windows 11 looks impressively good on 16 inch MacBook Pro. I have a PC with Windows 11, a real one, and I can see no difference between them. Windows is running super smooth, you can access all applications, it's fully operational Windows 11 with no limitations at all. Just be aware that Parallels Desktop uses only 50% of your processor and memory to run virtually Windows 11. Otherwise, it would slow down too much macOS and cause some troubles. 
but even 50% is fully enough to run Windows apps or Windows games on the maximum settings as M1 and M1 Pro chips are extremely capable. I installed Epic Games and Steam to get some games. Uh, back in the days I created an account on Epic Games because they offer GTA 5 for free, but I never had a Windows computer to play it, that's why I decided to install Windows 11 on my MacBook Pro 16 inch. I will make a separate video about running PC games on Parallels desktop, for example GTA 5 and other games on my M1 Pro Mac. If you're interested, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time on YouTube. Bye bye.